Hello, Emily. Terry O'Quinn here. I believe you know me as John Locke from Lost. I understand that you're a huge fan of, uh, of Locke and of Lost. Well, we have that in common, you and I. And uh, one other thing I know we have in common, we both graduated high school. <laughs> so congratulations, Emily, on your graduation. That's wonderful. Your dad says you have a sweet spirit. Sounds good. You're kind. You enjoy church and playing in the high school band, in the school band. Um, we also have that in common, by the way. Another thing, I played in the school band as well. Uh, I played basketball during the basketball season, but during the football season, um, I didn't like football, but I did like playing in the band. Unfor unfortunately, I was only a percussionist, <laughs> so I was the only one who was uh, healthy enough to carry the bass drum in the marching band. <laughs> but yeah, drums and the, and the snares and uh, a little bit of that. So, But still... I was in the band, Emily, so we do have that in common. You're about to go to, to uh, college in the fall. Uh, that too. That too I did a long, long time ago. Um, 1970. Yeah, that'll tell you something, won't it? I don't know where you're going. Your dad didn't say, but um, all I can say is uh, keep your head down. <laughs> don't follow your dreams. Keep your own ideas. I keep thinking about the, uh, you know, in the play in Hamlet, um, Polonius gives advice to his son Laertes, who's about to go somewhere. And he says, you know, keep your own counsel. Um, learn to listen to people without talking too much. These are all good things. And um, keep your friends close. Be loyal to your friends. The last thing he says is, to thine own self be true. And it follows as the night the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. Basically what it says is, Never lie to yourself, whatever else. If you have to lie to someone else, that's another thing. But, but, but if you do not lie to Emily, always tell yourself the truth as best you can judge it. And, um, you know, and tell, and then, then you can't really be, well, what Polonia says, you cannot then be false to anyone. And um, that would be the best advice. It's a difficult thing for many of us. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that would be that would be my advice. Always be true to Emily, and um, when when listen to those voices that tell you not to go somewhere or not to do something, if they're your voices. On the other hand, what John Locke said was, "Don't tell me what I can't do." So don't let anyone else limit your dreams or your perspectives. I remember when I was in college, Emily, and we had, uh, I was in my third year, at the, and I had been, I discovered theater in college acting. I didn't do it until I got to college. And I was in my third year or so, and I went to a little school called Central Michigan University. And I remember there were a bunch of uh, masters, people who were in the master's program at uh, Michigan State University, the big school, and they came up and talked to us, down to us, I might say. And they were all dressed in black and very theatrical. And, and they said, mm, you all probably have dreams of being in the theater or being in show business. Well, give, you know, give them up because you will not be successful and you will not make a living in show business. They said words to that effect. I mean, really, they said that. Um, and the truth is, most people who have that dream don't make it. But what is make it? What is make it? I mean, I've been asked, Emily, when, when did you know you'd made it? And I said... I've only made it to here. I don't know what made it is. I think making it, in my opinion, is following a dream, taking happiness from the journey, and uh, doing something that you love. Hey, keep your dreams alive, Emily. Stay safe. Stay well. Listen to Dad. <laughs> and uh, But... Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do, Emily. That's your decision. All right, hey, congratulations. All the very best. And uh, should we ever cross paths, Emily, make sure you say hello to me. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, all the best.